Yeah. Oh God, I feel it like money today. Yeah. Oh God, I feel What's it happening, like family? Watching Ice and yeah. Inside oh Scrubbing Nay. And on today's episode, we have an artist. Yes, he's known to his beautiful fans as Flame. And uh, we actually share a birthday month. For those who don't know, yes. He's the 10th, I'm the 20th. Yes, yes, yes. yes. (laughs) Welcome to ISWN. Nice to be here. Great stuff. Um, Let's just get straight into it, Flame. So you got the name Flame from a fan and decided to keep it. Yeah. Why? I... I actually don't know. Firstly, I'll be honest. I, let me be honest. I really didn't have like an AKA. Mm-hmm. I didn't have a name. So that's part of the reasons why. That's the first reason why I took it. And I just felt like it makes sense for me to be flame. You know? Because like, you're flame. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get in. let's get a little bit educational right now. So you dropped out of school in grade 11. And I'd just like to know if you had the opportunity to go back to school, would you take it? Um, honestly, I don't want to lie to you. I don't think I have time for school right now in my life. And I don't think I'll ever have time for school because <laughs> if you look at it this way, if you look at it from my perspective, I I make music and it requires all my time Definitely. to, like, you know, be creative and all that and to find that perfect one little song. Mm. I'm not even talking about, like, a project or just that one just perfect that song, one song requires all of the time and focus same thing with school so i can't split the attention interesting basically. so um let's just get into your music like you mentioned so music video yeah. i want to know out of all your songs why did you decide to release a music video for that specific one well people it was <laughs> high in demand so i guess i just had to you know it's for the fans i actually like I don't make music for myself as much as I w- I'd like to. Mm-hmm. At the, I'm at a point where everybody's listening now, so I can't just, you know, mm-hmm. whatever I do is for everybody to make them happy, basically. So you do it for your fans? Yeah. Do it for the f- So listen, I want to know, what is your perspective on the music industry today? Like, the music industry in South Africa isn't really... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now we're we'll talking, you feel it's, me? Like, it's, 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 it's really... I don't even know how to put it. It's just really not where it's supposed to be. And do you, by any reason, know why? Well, I look like I, I learn a lot from the people in the U.S. So I get like most of. Actually, I get my inspiration from like foreign artists. Mm. So in South Africa, the first thing, the first, the first problem for uh, industry to not like evolve to a level I feel like South Africa has to be like the best country with music definitely, right now because like definitely. we have like the best artists it's just that nobody wants to listen to them like I was I was with this other guy called Teppo yesterday he's like uh, he's like a brother to me and shit so we we're like talking and he was like he, he, he said something like um, when guys get into the game like they stay there and mm. they don't make way for anybody so yeah. that's the first problem we have in south africa true, you know true. like if you look at it at people in america um if let's just start with like a uh, normal guy you know low pump low pump drops a song everybody's gonna be happy for low pump and like push low pump to get low pump to uh, to wherever he to wants be, to reach to, you know? exactly as long as the songs is fire then nobody can you know, ignore it. Ignore it, definitely. But in South Africa, they just choose to, you know, shut down everything. <laughs> Out here, you just got to make it on your own, basically. I just, uh, we're we on the scoop, right? <clears throat> and I know this might be old news, but your saga with MT. <clears throat> Come on, what, what, was, what was that all about? So MT says, you should know you guys are not on the same level. Well, like... <laughs> he's actually telling the truth about us not being on the same level. I mean, I'm a better artist if we have to talk about that. <laughs> Everybody so knows. So how you understand the statement, basically. That's how it just is. At the end of the day, there's got to be a better artist and a uh, whack artist. And in this case, I'm the better artist, and he knows that too. So <laughs> we can't even talk. That's why I can't even, like, entertain whatever he says to me or whatever. Like, I just let it slide because... At the end of the day, if we have to take it to the studio, man. Then we know who the real yeah. artist is. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so 
Who would you say is lacking the source in South Africa? You, an artist, and I'm talking about music, I'm not talking about actors, actresses. When it comes to the rap game, who would you say is really lacking the source? Everybody, like everybody. <laughs> Are you like, serious? With me, it's not that I hate every, I don't hate nobody. The reason why like, I'm saying this, I'm saying it as a, like this is me criticizing what I've listened to because I can't just say, yo, man, you whack. And I don't even know how your shit sounds like. Exactly. Come on, bro. Like, how does that even make sense? So for me, like, I listen to these guys. I try and listen to what they got, but I don't really feel the punch. Like, nobody is strong enough out here. Wow. Like, on the real, real. Like, I can't even think of any artists except for, like, my most favorite artist right now has to be, like, Echo. Because like my most favorite artist, like, for real. So real besides much. Aries, we've known you've like collaborated with Aries countless times. Is there any other artists that you would actually collaborate with in South Africa? Like outside the camp? Yeah. Uh, outside the crew, please don't keep it family. <laughs> outside. Like, I like, I like Frank. Like I like Frank. You know, like with Frank. Frank has this sound. It's almost similar to me, but uh, it's not really similar. I think it's just similar because, you know, it's more like a uh, dog. We can take it to another level. Another if we, level. If we work. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so I want to know uh, Love Life. Come on. Who is your all time celebrity <laughs> crush? Before we get into the Love Life, we want to know who is your all time celebrity crush? My all-time celebrity crush. Yeah. Damn. Do I even have a celebrity crush right now? Ah, you got to. Come on, you celebrities, you crush on each other, even if it's low-key, y'all do. And I'm sure there is one mama there. You know, like, I have a lot. Ah. But I really don't <laughs> know right now, you know? Like, I'm not really focused on my crushes no more. I mean, Come on, Flame. You can't I feel do like this it's, a it's, it's a dream. It's a dream. It's it's fine. We won't wake you from it's it. We fantasy. won't wake you up from it. However, we got to know who this celebrity crush of all time is. Or if you're not gonna mention who she is, then at least let these ladies, because you know you've got a lot of female crushes out there. Is Flame available or is he taken? Uh, I'm not available. <laughs> I'm taken right now. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, Sorry, guys. I can't do it. He can't do it. Nah. <laughs> He's very much. No, like, I got a girl, but if my celebrity crush try to get it, then so, she can get it. Then tell us like, who the celebrity crush is, though. Oh, man. You know I'm a cheaty? <laughs> yes. I'm a cheaty. She's actually um, an actress on Rhythm City. Yeah. Is she the one? She I used to watch her, you know, like, since. I don't know when. Aww. I used to watch Rhythm City, and every time I looked at her, I was like, like, damn, that girl's made for me, man. But I guess it's a dream I gotta <laughs> live with. <laughs> it's a dream do if you woke up and you you had like no dreads on your head. I think I just had to make like a twenty minute song where I have to address <laughs> all my fans before they see me without my <laughs> head. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah. They wouldn't make, it's gonna be hard for them to accept like just I don't what? think yeah. I don't think it's gonna be the easiest change. I think if you wanna change as an artist, mm. you gotta have back up for it which is music which makes sense why you had to go into that phase before me. so if i'm going to cut my hair and do something that there has to be some a solid reason why so why are you it. doing that because okay. at the end of the day as much as it might be here it plays a big role in my career definitely okay. it is how we actually oh hey yeah, we see him from far okay. all right <laughs> <That's my favorite. laughs> Instagram, same handle, no underscores. And on Facebook, it's. Perfect, you know, like, y'all getting my name really out there. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to you. I've been enjoying this interview on all social media platforms at ISWN underscore. Don't be scared to like, don't be scared to share. God is love. Wish I could smoke this blunt. Feel like money today, yeah. Oh God, I'm feeling like I ate some cake, yeah. Oh God, oh God, I can't really wait the baby.